In this example, we're going to look at how many ways can you get a full house. Let's start by considering a specific type of full house, like aces over kings. Three aces and two kings. The number of ways to choose three out of four aces is a combination because order doesn't matter. So four, choose three. We also need to select two out of the four kings. Four, choose two. Once we have these two numbers, the fundamental theorem of counting says multiply them together. For the aces, we get a four, and for the kings, we get six. So once we know we want aces and kings, there are 24 ways to select three aces and two kings. Great. The next step is how many different types of full house are there? So we could have aces and kings, but it could be aces and jacks, sevens and threes, all sorts. How many? Well, you've got 13 choices for your three of a kind. It has to be one of the 13 ranks. Once you've selected that, there's only 12 choices left for the two of a kind, for the pair. So the total number of types of full houses would be 13 times 12, or 156. Now, we have 24 ways to get each type, and we have 156 different types. So multiply those two numbers together to find the total number of ways. And we end up with 3,744 ways to get a full house.